So we're here in Lake Apakong. We're at 20 feet of depth with the auction probe. This is a YSI optical meter. It's about the best field probe you can get. And uh, you can see the lake is, this is the third area within the deep zone of the lake that we've taken readings. Every one of them has been out of oxygen at 20 feet. And you can see, what's the reading now? 0.21. Yeah, that's one. effectively zero in terms of the margin of error um, on these machines. A health, a, a lake um, a fish need a bare minimum of two milligrams per liter to even access that water. And uh, four milligrams per liter is the minimum amount for fish to have a healthy environment. So below 20 feet in this lake, there is zero opportunity for fish to use that water. And there's nothing else living down there that needs oxygen to survive. Now, the interesting thing is, is you'll see how quickly it changes. Um, I'm gonna pull the probe up four feet and let's see what happens to dissolved oxygen. So that's about four feet. Rising yet? Yep, one five now. There's one five. And if it's not coming up fast, we'll pull it up another foot and you'll see it start to rock it up. Going up still? One. Eight. Not really. Alright, so let's pull it up another foot and a half or so. Yep, now we're now we're three. Yeah. So basically what you have is a pretty well-defined floor in this lake in terms of where the limit as to where oxygen is available for uh, all of the life in the lake. And it's right around, right between 15 and 20 feet. Um, and what we're doing today is uh, just confirming what we saw in the available data that only really measured two points in the deep zone of the lake. We're doing four to five points in different areas of the deep zone of the lake that, that our analysis suggests are mostly all out of oxygen at around 20 feet. And so far, that's been consistent for the first three locations that we've, uh, we've checked in the deep basin of uh, Lake Apacom. We're in Byram's Cove. Again, the probe is right down about 20 feet, and you can see completely out of oxygen again at 20 feet in Byram's Cove. So this really does define at minimum, you know, kind of what we mapped out. It's, it's going to be about an 800 acre dead zone of the lake. Anywhere where it's deeper than 20 feet, you've got no oxygen. And let's pull it up and see uh, in, in about five feet at a time and see if we get some improvement. So uh, I'm at 20 feet. There's four to five feet, so I should be at 18, uh, at uh, 15, you know, uh, 15 to 17 feet. Not coming up yet. I'm still holding. So, you know, come up another four feet, give it some margin of error. So I'm probably between. Still 0.28. I gotta be less, I gotta be uh, at, wow. at deepest 15 feet. So let's keep pulling it up until we, it's still low. 0.27, yeah. I gotta be at no, 10 feet. Here it comes down. Yep, two. Okay, so I, I, at between 12 and 10 and 10 and 15 feet, this is out of oxygen up here. Wow. So even worse than in the deeper part of the lake where the wind, you probably get more wind mixing and you get a little deeper penetration of oxygen. So we're at uh, Nolan's Point, Jefferson's Point, center of the lake, it's 47 feet deep. And this one was real interesting because we really found the exact point where the lake uh, is still just barely habitable for dissolved oxygen. So we've got about two milligrams per liter at somewhere between 15 and 18 feet. Now I'm gonna drop the probe literally two feet and let's see what happens. And so you can see we're, we're, we're diving towards zero. 
So it's it's a very well defined uh, uh, boundary, oxygen boundary in this lake right now, um, and you know half the water, more than half the water in the deepest part of the lake is basically a dead zone. Um, so the part of the lake that we're in that we've mapped out, it's about 800 acres of the 2,500 acre lake, but it represents 66% of the water volume of the entire lake. And so right now you have more than 50% 50, 50 of that area without oxygen. So you've got between 30, really that's low, between 33 and and 35 to 40 percent of the water, entire volume of water in Lake Hepatcong is without oxygen and an environment not suitable for anything good that you want living in the lake. And from our perspective, that's a core impairment. Um, we're not saying that that's the only thing responsible for the harmful algal bloom that's keeping this lake closed during the height of the summer season but it is a major contributing factor that if not fixed, um, our experience and our science and all of the lakes that we work on tell us that this lake really doesn't have a good chance of fending these blooms off without fixing this as a jump. oxygen depletion or dead zone which has been confirmed with a lot of science that these dead zones are the breeding ground for blue-green algae in water bodies um, you're really not addressing one of the core causes of this problem here out on Lake Hepatcong and so that's uh, it didn't take much it took us about an hour's worth of uh, uh, you know back of the envelope science out here to confirm what the prior data from the last seven years says and in fact uh, what we're seeing for dissolved oxygen right now uh, is worse than what we were seeing even in the 2017-2018 report so again there's another correlation you've got uh, a worse a bigger dead zone and a more acute oxygen deprivation and you've got a worse algae problem so, I mean, in our world, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's pretty much a duck.